Hi everyone, it is Susie and I hope everybody's um, doing well. I uh, have a couple of fun journals I want to share again. I've been playing with the little plastic covers again. <clears throat> I did a vi video a few weeks ago. Uh, the Somerset Studio inspired one using the cereal liners. And I was uh, going to be working with uh, Chow Bella, which is what this collection is. It's the spring. Uh, I believe it's just I believe it's just called spring. I can't remember now, but um, it's from Chow Bella, and I decided to use the plastic that the paper came in. It was a really nice thick plastic, and I thought, why wouldn't that work for what I'm going to do? You know, uh, again with the plastic, um, you know, trying to melt that plastic. So I really came out with really basically the same results. I tried something a little different. I tried not getting the iron real hot, but it didn't melt it very good. So it really had to be a good temperature, a hot temperature in order to melt it. But really the results are basically the same, I think. Um, uh, then one of the ladies and uh, Tammy, I want to thank you for your suggestion. Um, she had done something like this several years ago and um, she just simply put the paper in between and then layered on the outside. And so I, I did layer just a little thing here. I wanted to keep the paper pretty simple because I love the, I love the print that is on it, the image. And here I put the butterfly on the outside. I just fussy cut this butterfly and then I didn't put anything on the back and of course I'm playing still with Sagita's you know little crinkled grungy papers that um, uh, she had done a little tutorial for and then I like the oversized papers in the little in the little cover so anyway I love these I absolutely love playing with these and uh, anyway I'm going to show you these journals but I wanted to show you um, I do have some new wildflowers in the Etsy shop. I have some restocked and then I have a couple of new colors in there uh, that uh, are fun. And then I was playing with some little scraps here. Um, I'm actually working on a project with some dragonflies and so um, I had some extra prints. So I am going to, these are just some little flips for uh, for your journals, you know, for the pockets. And I'm just going to list these. These are just scrap papers that I've had left from other things. Uh, each one maybe have different papers in them. They don't all have the same, the same papers. But uh, I'm just going to sell these as random. So uh, I'll kind of show you the different prints. They're a lot alike. There's not really too much different about them. But I'm going to just do one listing and they're just going to be random. So if you purchase two, you're just going to get two random. You know, if you purchase one, it'll just be one random. Uh, there is one, two, three, six, should be six, six pages in here. I've just used uh, three, well, I've used four total sheets to make one, so... And then here is the other one. But they're all basically the same. And uh, like I said, I'm just going to put them in the, in the pile and send, uh, sell them as random. So I'll just, ha I think there's seven available. Two, four, six, yeah, seven available. So just a nice little thing to put in your, in your journal in a, in a uh, pocket or tuck spot or something. Then um, I made some paper bag journals just blank and I'm going to put those in there they have some of these crinkly grungy papers here and they also you know are just um, got some random sheets in here there is uh, one two three four five six seven eight so there's eight, uh, be 16 pages, 32 sides front and back, and a glassing uh, dyed bag here, coffee dyed or tea dyed bag. 
that is in it and it's ready to be decorated. I did not close any flaps down, so if you want to make that a pocket, fine. If you don't, you know, you can just glue the whole thing down or just leave it as is. Um, everything was left open on the bag, and you can flip it to every which way that you want your front to be, because this makes no difference which side this is on, and that's the only thing that would, you know, even be close to having anything that would resemble an up or down. So, uh, you can either have it this for your front or have the flat for your front or back. So, anyway, I've just got four of those. They are hand, or not hand. Uh, I have sewed them on the sewing machine down. And, of course, when you do that, you just get, you know, sometimes you get a little grungy mess there, and it's okay. That's kind of what it looks like. But, uh, anyway, there's four of those that I'm going to have in the shop. They're just blank and ready to be decorated. Okay, so I want to show you these journals. I absolutely love these. These have just been so much fun. I'm going to start with this. is just a little kit in there. Absolutely love it. I fussy cut the butterfly out. The back is just kind of, I mean, there's just nothing on the, the back side there. So you could always, uh, you'd probably have to use Fabri-Tac or something to hold on this plastic. But, uh, you know, you could put something there or paper it over and journal or whatever you want there. Of course, there's that grungy old paper. And um, here I've just got another fussy cut butterfly. Use some of that old grungy crinkled paper there. Here is just a little um, card game tally sheet. Here I've just made a collage. And here is just a collage as well. This is a little pocket here, and I've just added a little, the little bird. This is just a little journaling paper. Guest check and some more. Now the words are for Mrs. Coggs. Um, I believe it's spring words or spring sayings. Here's one of the spring flowers that's in the shop in the um, in a pink. I don't remember what color. If this is a uh, soft pink or shabby pink, I'm not sure, but uh, I once again just did some collaging there. Here is just some words. I believe these are seven gypsies. I bought these sometime back. I believe it Tuesday morning. Just a journaling paper there. And then here I've just fussy cut a little bird out and just added it in a little collage. There was some sorry silk. Here's that little kitty again. Just did some, I used pink on my, uh, on my thread. And uh, here's another little collage. This paper is just really, really pretty. Now I bought the 12 by 12 and I also bought the A4. Um, it was like the A4 tag sheet. Uh, it has all the little cut aparts. So, um, this is mainly from that A4 cut apart sheet. I don't know that I used much of anything out of the 12 by 12. And then here is just a coffee dyed envelope. And I've added one of the journaling cards and just backed it with some of that crinkly paper. And that just tucks in behind. course use some of the the uh, that tape there here is just a vintage guest check there this one here is just another collage and this is mainly just for journaling I mean I did not put a whole lot of things in it I really wanted it for uh, journaling that is what I was going for and boy, do we have a lot to journal about right now. This is just crazy, all the stuff that's going on right now. Um, our governor, the governor of Missouri, has uh, just issued um, a stay-home order for us here starting uh, this, uh, this coming week. And so I have been out trying to get stocked up on things so that... 
I don't have to run to the store for any reason. Um, I still have to go to work. It's considered essential. I will still have to go to work, but I will just go to work and come home. Um, here's another one of the flowers there that I have in the shop. I, I don't know which one that is. Um, I don't. Uh, it may be part of the wildflowers, but. Um, Anyway, here is this journal, and it's just as cute as it can be, and it's several pages. You can see it's pretty thick. And then here is this one. I love this cover. cover. Love this image on the front. Love the bird and the hearts. Just love it. And then I just added that. This one here I did in a little, kind of like a teal almost colored uh, thread. I was trying to match the color of the... Uh, the paper so and it is the same way I've made it mainly for journaling so here this is a little wallflower from the shop and a um, little collage there here is the envelope here and nature resumes and I've just added a little, a little piece in there Okay, and then here is, I've just backed this in some fabric here, just some nice white fabric. Um, this is just a little booklet here for journaling. I've added some uh, blue to this, uh, to the transparent tape, just giving it a little different color. As you can see there, I just gave it a little blue color. And I've put it on the little rips and tears. Here's just a little, a little journaling piece here. Another wildflower from the, I believe this is the country blue, uh, right there. And then here's just a little collage with the cat. Vintage gift. This is some fabric I got a long time at jo a long time ago at Joann's, probably about two three years ago, um, at Joann's. And here I've just cut out of some uh, some of the little um, letters with spring. Added a little canvas pocket there, or muslin. Little journaling, little journaling spot. This is a spring flower right there. Added a couple of little vintage buttons. Here is another little envelope. This one's rain showers. Just a place for you to journal. Could always add a little bit of something more in there. There's plenty of room. And this slides behind. Here is another. I just love these images from this paper line. And this I've got wildflowers. Just, just cut some of those little numbers out. Oh, this was kind of fun. This here I added a little. And that's actually where the center of the signature is. I just kind of added a little, a little place that you could kind of hide something if you wanted to journal it there. Which is a little fun. Here I've got a little bit of a collage. I've actually just wrapped that around the, around the uh, page. Here's just a little journaling spot, another little wildflower there. And here I've got one just draped over the uh, draped over the page. It's just another little journaling, another little journaling spot there. And then I've added a little collage there with that little round image. And here's some more blue tape. And there is the back. But anyway, these are just adorable. I really had fun uh, doing these. So anyway, guys, I hope that you um, will all stay in and stay well. And uh, I will catch you in the next video. Have a great day.